Hello everybody, I'm FPR Ninja, and welcome back to Sly Cooper and Thievius Raccoonus. In today's episode, we're going to use all seven of Raleigh's treasure keys, and we are going to launch ourselves at him and take him down for good, and get his pay to the Thievius Raccoonus. So, let us go fight Raleigh. I'm coming for you, Raleigh. It's time to make whatever the French food is that is frog legs or whatever. How delightful. We have a guest. The only thing is... I hate unexpected guests! Listen, Raleigh. Wipe up my family and steal what's mine? You better expect company. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. How sloppy of me not to finish the job. Obviously, we should have snuffed you out as well. So, without further ado, let me make amends by what? Bloating to gargantuan size and squashing you like the insignificant bug that you are. Bring it on. Dude, that's a relatively easy boss fight, actually. Basically, you're just gonna jump around, you guys dodge him. And and he'll eventually go and do this. Uh, you just gotta wait till you get the chance to hit him. That's the problem. Ugh. There we go. Really, I don't even run around like any of that. Well, I kind of do now. So these can handle most all our bodies. The problem is, um, we gotta wait till those things come back up. And if you're on the wrong one, like if it starts flashing, you run through whatever it is that. Oh crap! You know, like freaking like. Imagine. God freaking damn it. Shrink already. There. One, maybe two more attacks to take him out. There we go. Blast it all! You beaten me! Well, gloat all you want, Sly Cooper. You're no match for Mugshot, my villainous cohort in Utah. You'll see. Mesa City is so well guarded, a snake couldn't slither in without setting off alarms. <laughs> Raleigh section of the Thievius Raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestor Ryoichi Cooper's Ninja Spire Jump, a technique he developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of feudal Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox, who, failing to find me, busted Raleigh and his crew. With the storm machine out of commission, boats found their way back onto the ocean, and the mystery of the Welsh Triangle faded from memory. My gang and I loafed around England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather, and then headed back home, excited for our next heist. I took the liberty of pinning your mission map up on the wall. You can use it to warp directly to any levels you've already visited. We're all set to go to Mesa City. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go to Mesa City, which is basically, uh, well, you know, I'll let Sly describe it, and I'll. And... It had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. Next up, the notorious mugshot. 
ruthless muscle of the fiendish five. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. A neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be picked on or pushed around again. Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. It's actually my favorite, uh, well, maybe not my favorite, one of my favorite um, stages. But let's go ahead and grab those clues real quick. Let's climb up here. Hey, Sly, I thought you said Mesa City was going to be loud and busy. This looks more like a ghost town. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Ninja Spire Jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land safely upon diminutive points, leapeth lively and presseth the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. Yeah, and this is actually probably one of the most commonly used um, techniques you're gonna be using in this entire game like you're gonna be using this attack this technique all the freaking time all right let's go ahead and grab these ah. um, keys that keys clues real quick there's 40 of them in this level <laughs> so it might take a little bit Okay, let's go right down here. No! Bad doggy. Oh look! More frickin' water! Alright, now up here we go. Go and let's jump out on top of this shed real quick. Um, I guess a swing on that. And there's someone behind there, aren't there? Go away. What's with those flashing lights? The latest in high tech security. Electronic floor sensors. Step on them and you're a goner. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. Alright. Let's go up here. Grab that and oh god, that clue on the pole right there. This is gonna be a nightmare to try to grab. There we go, and let's just jump over this way. Holy crap, I almost didn't make that jump. Go away. Alright, uh, let's see what's this way. Yeah, it doesn't that way. So, we're safe to go over right here. Go away. Go back and grab that real quick. 
go and grab these treasure clues real quick. And boom. Can I go there? Not yet. Maybe I can go around. Inside. Ooh. Lucky charm. Come on, Lucky charm. There we go. Alright, uh. Oh, that's where the chest is at. Grab you, and more clues. Oh my god, we're like 11 clues short of being able to. No! God damn it! Freaking die. Let's go and grab these clues right here real quick. I got scared for a second, I thought I was gonna freaking die. But, I'm good. Thank you out. And we got a series of train traps right here. Next, grab these real quick. Okay, this is gonna be a fucking pain in the ass. Thing. Gotcha. Hey. Oh crap, we missed some. We missed four of them. Damn it. Well, there's two right there. We still need to buy two more. Alright, let's... Let's go back this way. Luckily it's not secure, so I don't worry about... Security and stuff. Let's just try to find ourselves these clues real quick. Oh, well, fuck, there's one right there. Now we're just missing one. Okay, one clue. We're missing one freaking clue. Oh my god, it's right freaking there. Alright, so the Treasure chest should be around here somewhere. Yeah, right over there. Go unlock it real quick and then we'll go and grab the key. Press the circle to enter the vault code. Hmm? A little bit of higher mathematics and voila! Dial in 314. Oh, and voila! And we unlock Outstanding! You've uncovered Rob McCooper's oh, patented explosive hat technique. Use the triangle button to toss your cap. Then use the triangle button again to detonate it. Better back off to a safe distance first. Alright. I'll show you guys what that does in a sec once I get over to this road. And there we go. Now, let's throw the hat. And... Voila! Little teeny explosion. Nothing too flashy, but I mean, you're a thief. Kinda can't expect it to be really flashy. But... We are set. We're gonna switch back to slow-mo though. Cause slow-mo I'm gonna be using a ton in this game. Alright, now let's just climb this railing right here and grab this key. And you're mine. And let's open up our way into Mesa City. Let's just grab this coin real quick. This goes right there. 
Mugshot's turf. And out we go. Alright, so what level do we want to go and do first? Well, this mugshot certainly isn't shy. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, but how are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place! Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chose to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's some sound logic, Sly. Now you just need to find a way to break into the building's base. Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. 